Most of you may be thinking right now, or some of you may be thinking right now, but well, wait, I do eat good saturated fats in my diet. I do re exercise regularly. However, I still have to take medication to regulate my insulin, or I still can't lose the weight. You may be one that falls in about the one third of all folks with diabetes. And Dr. Pompa, you even say it's probably closer to about 50%. You've coined the phrase TER. So yes. please tell us what TER is and why it may be affecting That's our right. watchers. Yeah, you know, in this, uh, this teaching, you know, the, really the point was is that there are a lot of people who are saying, hey, I am doing the, the, everything right and yet yeah. I still can't come off my meds. I still can't get my glucose normal. Uh, you may be TER. Yeah. Toxin-induced insulin resistance is really what uh, TER stands for. And it is estimated that it's one-third, but I do believe mm -hmm. that it's closer to 50% of people who really are developing diabetes. Yeah. It's because of a toxin. Toxins come into the cell mm -hmm. because the cell membrane is made up of fat, which we discussed we in discussed the first it. teaching, yep. right? Um, the toxins stick to that membrane mm -hmm. and they drive inflammation. Where are the hormone receptors? The hormone receptors are on the, uh, the, the membrane which becomes inflamed and therefore the receptors become blunted. Mm -hmm. Toxins, I believe, really are driving this epidemic, especially mm -hmm. the epidemic we're seeing in children today. Mm. You know, I think this is the fundamental reason why you and all of the practitioners that you have trained across the country are different. Mm. You guys are addressing true cellular detox. Right. It's absolutely, it's at the core of, of everything yeah. that you do. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, true cellular detox, you know, really, I always say detox, you know, for it to really work, for it to be real, it has to occur at the cellular level. Mm. You know, I, I know a lot of people out there, they're doing, you know, foot baths, colon <laughs> cleanses, liver cleanses, yes. magnets on the bottom of the feet, Corella, right. all of these detox things, right? Yes. You go into your health food store, uh, and you see detox everywhere, right? Everywhere. Detox is in vogue right now. Oh, very, yeah. yeah. But, you know, honestly, look, it took you 30 years to mm -hmm. accumulate toxins to the point mm -hmm. where it's driving cellular inflammation, mm -hmm. hormonal dysfunction, inability to lose weight, diabetes, all the things we've been talking about. Um, and to think that you're going to get rid of that in doing a 60-day detox or a month detox is absolutely absurd, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, but it, it really is when you think yes. about it. You know, it takes that long to get in and it really takes some time to get out. But doing it the right way at the cellular level, yeah. true detox has to occur at the cell. You know, what I really did is, you know, to communicate this to doctors, because it became very frustrating to right. me, you know, <laughs> training doctors that they, I would communicate this with great passion mm -hmm. and they would listen, sure. I thought, with great passion. And then they really had no way of applying it in their mm -hmm. practice. I, uh, you know, I believe God show, started showing me this way because I started praying about it, mm -hmm. of a way of communicating it to the doctors mm -hmm. that they can understand it sure. to their, therefore then put it into practice. Right. The five R's of true cellular detox or cellular healing mm. came out of that prayer. And the five R's really walks the practitioner through a process of how to heal a cell, mm. how to detox the cell. It actually became a way for patients to understand mm. what the practitioner was doing. Yeah. So the five R's of true cellular detox really is in its simplest form, a roadmap to walking through what you need to do to really truly detox. It's, it's absolutely groundbreaking, especially for you, the patient, because what you need to understand is if you are falling into this category of one third of those that are driving inflammation in the body from some other source besides food, besides you're doing all mm -hmm. the right things, again, you need to be aware of what these toxins are, yeah. just like in our training video. Right. And we started to educate you on the benefits of good fat. You've already said, I'm gonna start integrating good healthy fats into my diet. Right. Just like that, we want you to take action and start taking out some of these toxins that are coming in and driving inflammation. Now some you can't take out on your own and we'll get there, however, some you can, some are right in your home, they're right under your roof or right under your nose. So tell us, Dr. Pompa, mm -hmm. where do these toxins that are driving mm -hmm. this, where do they even come from? Well, you know, I think it, the bioaccumulation of uh, any toxin today, mm -hmm. I and mean, we live like in no time in, mm -hmm. in you know, the history of man under more toxins. And you know, I know that some of you watching this, they're saying, well, gosh, you know, our outdoor air is cleaner than ever. Mm -hmm. That's not the, the big threat or exposure. It's right at what you said, right under your own roof and right under your own nose. Sure. The, the cosmetics, mm -hmm. ladies, if you're using cosmetics, 
518 chemicals you start your day with a just day. by doing your you know normal routine. hygiene routine mm -hmm. in the morning, right? 219, last time I looked, are known cancer causers. Now, 95% of them are obesogens, mm -hmm. meaning that they're chemicals that we know lead to weight gain unexplainably. Hormone disorders, right? So, all yeah, inflammatory. Absolutely. I mean, all, it's exactly what we're talking right. about. Right. There's chemicals like BPA that we know affect diabetes. Wow. You know, plastics affect diabetes. Yes. Um, you know, pesticides. I mean, think about it. People getting their home sprayed, yes. eating yes. food with pesticides, but also their yards, their homes, mm -hmm. herbicides. These things are all linked to Di, uh, you know, obviously, you know, these different mm -hmm. inflammation, you know, and this is a big problem, obviously linked to diabetes, other hormone conditions as well, even all of a sudden just the inability to lose weight. So this is the exposure. Yeah. You know, heavy metals are at some of the big, big exposures mm -hmm. with conditions like hormone conditions yeah. like diabetes because um, heavy metals come in and they bioaccumulate and stay in the body. Wow. And therefore they drive that cellular inflammation continually. And again, it's a bioaccumulation over years. Mm. All of a sudden you're 30 years old, not feeling well, mm -hmm. your energy's going down. You know, your hormones aren't right, you just can't figure it out, yeah. right? Yeah, so, and a lot of that is because you've accumulated metals either from silver fillings, which contain 50% metal, mm. mercury. Mercury. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, obviously eating fish, you know, obviously a lot of other exposures. We talked about cosmetics, which contain lead, by mm -hmm. the way. So it is a lot of things that we're exposed to, even in our daily lives, that we're bioaccumulating. This is driving the insulin resistance toxin-induced mm -hmm. insulin resistance that we're seeing so much of. It's absolutely, uh, it's staggering. It is literally things that we're inundated with every single day, and I would say without our consent, right? We buy things just because it's on the shelf does not mean that it's safe for you, does not mean that it's the most healthy thing for you. That's right. It's absolutely fascinating to me. Not only we talked and debunked the myth about fat and things like that, but this isn't being talked about. Mm -mm. You know, you might see this is toxic, keep away from children, but they don't say don't use it or beware. They don't, you know what I mean? They don't right. go that extra level. And so here women, and, and especially with cosmetics, they don't have to label their ingredients. Right. It's proprietary information. So a That's lot right. of these toxins are coming into your life without your consent is what I would mm -hmm. say to you. Um, it is time in this time, in this day and age, we have to be label readers. Yeah, we have to know, no and if they're not labeling it, then they're hiding something. I would go as far to say. Yeah, you didn't absolutely. say that, but I would definitely no doubt. say that. Well, I mean, but who, and who's linking mm -hmm. toxins to diabetes when it's all over the literature? That's right. And, and other hormone problems. I mean, it's there, but who is talking about yeah. it? So you're putting your makeup in the morning, you know, and doing your thing. I mean, who's to think? Oh my gosh, that's well, you actually take your medication. Me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's causing diabetes potentially, mm -hmm. but it is. I mean, that's it what is. the literature mm -hmm. shows. You know, yeah. or spraying your house with pesticides or any chemical exposure is driving this epidemic, especially in kids today. And that's what people don't understand. Don't, yeah. So, but then again, you know, some store-bought detox plan is yeah. not really, you know, it, it's, no. it's not touching this thing. We, you do right. have to get rid of the, you know, the sources, you know, mm -hmm. and I talk about that in the article, getting rid of silver fillings. Yeah. You know, I always teach the doctors this. Mm -hmm. If you have a patient that has silver fillings in and you're detoxing, what are you doing? You're wasting yeah. their time, your and time. Money. Yeah, and absolutely. And, and ultimately that's the problem is mm -hmm. people don't want to remove the sources. If you're living in a moldy home, mm -hmm. you know, it produces a biotoxin that drives diabetes and weight gain and, yeah. you know, all of these hormone problems that we know of. You have to get rid of the source. That's our number one by that. Way, mm. By the way, removing the source, and uh, we could kind of briefly go over the R's just to give them an idea of what truly sure. cellular detox looks like. Absolutely, but. I do want to do that because you hit the nail on the head. Um, we've been talking all day, and you said it's almost borderline malpractice. Yeah. If someone is, you know, not addressing this correctly, and so mm -hmm. I say to you, I'm so excited that you have stumbled upon us and that you have chosen to take action because the practitioners that are trained by Dr. Pompa, it's unbelievable. They know this stuff, and you will be safe. It will be treated well. So mm -hmm. that's what's exciting for us to know that you will not fall prey to this malpractice. Yeah, you know, this national diabetes program that we started here is it really came out I think out of this toxicity conversation yes. because so many people don't know this you know we've been talking mm -hmm. about a hidden you know solution you yeah. know hidden truths I mean you know this is one of them you know just to expose this you know as really the answer to the epidemic mm -hmm. uh, you know and I, I believe but you know getting into now what do we do right yeah. I mean ultimately that's what you want and, and again you have to look upstream to these causes and get them out of your life um, and you know mentioning just some of those big ones start now 
Uh, but our number two is regenerating the cell membrane, which I feel like we, you know, we covered in some of the, in in, fats. You know, but right, yeah, you, you know, the, mm -hmm. the membrane is critical because if it inflames, you can't get the good stuff in and the bad stuff mm -hmm. out. Our number three is restoring cellular energy. Mm -hmm. And you would say, well, why does that matter? Well, <laughs> you need energy for every detox pathway of the cell. Right. So a lot of true detox, it is getting the cell prepared. Yeah, we want to prepare the gut, the kidney, and the liver, and we sure, do, and that's yes. part of the protocol that we, we have the, you know, the, the doctors that are trained in this protocol do. But fixing that cell and energy is the, one of the first things we have to do, even especially with our very, very challenged patients. Mm. And then our number four is reducing inflammation. But obviously there's a protocol that mm. we reduce that cellular inflammation, mm. but also that intercellular inflammation you know, of some of these inner membranes. Right. So right. It's, it's very important in the protocol. Very and complex. Then, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It yeah. really is. Mm -hmm. uh, and inflammation, and it's thorough. everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the yeah. silent killer, but yeah. really, what do we do about it? And then lastly, our number five is reestablishing methylation. Mm -hmm. Methylation patterns, and this probably is worthy of a little bit more conversation mm -hmm. because methylation is something as simple as a carbon and three hydrogens okay ch3 <laughs> not that that matters to anybody, <laughs> but what does matter to you is we're this. all learning today. that's right you need these methyl groups mm -hmm. to adapt to stress matter mm -hmm. of fact it's its number one priority is anyone so, stressed out there that's i right. mean <laughs> exactly i think so, we can all relate to emotional this. stress yes. or mm -hmm. chemical stress your yeah. body treats it the same or physical Amazing. stress yeah you take these methyl groups and you activate cortisol. Mm. Cortisol is the stress hormone, right? So you know when if cortisol stays up, you start storing fat, mm -hmm. okay, which is not good, and you have more anxiety, mm. you don't sleep as well. Many people are in this elevated state because they've literally depleted mm. all of their methyl groups. Yeah. Because you need them to activate the stress response, but you need them to deactivate it. Get it. So yeah. once you become so depleted, your body's robbing these really critical methyl groups, and we'll explain you know why, because they're needed other places, and it's using it to activate the stress, mm. but then it's not being deactivated, and you're left in this stress wow. response. Okay, now you get someone who's chronically toxic, mm -hmm. okay, this is my wife's story really, and what happens is, is once they're chronically toxic, my wife had very high lead levels, mm -hmm. she started getting all these hormone problems mm -hmm. that weren't going away. Makes sense. It's all connected there. It is. Yeah. So we ended up doing a test on her, which is a 24-hour urine test where we look at her hormones, like 33 different hormones. Well, one of the biggest problems was she was depleted in methyl groups mm. because her lead levels were elevated. Were wasted. But what problem is they were? She was using it to adapt to this stress, the mm -hmm. chemical stress. Mm -hmm. But now she wasn't using the methyl group to attach to toxic estrogen. Wow. And remove toxic estrogen. So she was building up toxic estrogen, which is the number one driver of cancer. Wow. My wife's mother died of a estrogen related cancer and my wife was heading in the exact same direction. Wow. So this information obviously affected saved. my life ma That's many right. ways, but it saved my wife's life for sure. So this methylation priority principle, will, your body will take methyl groups from other places to adapt to the stress, but it's taking it from somewhere else. Mm. And now this over here is not getting uh, you know, what it needs from the methyl group. So whether it's getting rid of toxic estrogen or whether it's protecting your DNA. Wow. So now it can lead to cancer and other problems wow. that way as well. And your practitioners are absolutely trained in doing this hormone test that yeah. you were just talking they, about. They, have the, they yeah. will run the correct test. By the Great. way, it's the same test that Suzanne Summers said saved her life. That test saved my wife's life. All of our practitioners do that test. It's a hormone test, it's very, very important. Yeah. And many people that are already stressed in this diabetic mm -hmm. mode, they also need that test. They need it. Males and females. Yeah. So it, it is a really, really important test that most practitioners would not run. And one big thing or mm -hmm. difference that we yeah. also want to make here is that the practitioners that we have trained are also really trained in finding this toxicity, all right? And, and helping dig or play crime scene investigator, right. for a lack of a better word, to really find out what is the exact toxin or toxins mm. driving your inflammation? Really and there important. is a process to actually finding maybe something tipped the bucket, right, years ago or recently, but that's not the whole story. There could be a myriad or what you call the perfect storm, yes. where there's multiple different toxins that came at the right or wrong time right. um, to really create this perfect storm where the body just says, I can't 
do it anymore. And right. then we've got systems or a, a lockdown that happens and we can't lose weight and we can't, you know, can't regulate our hormones, our insulin, for instance. That's and so right. this, this is amazing because you guys have really taken a step to be different and take modern science mm -hmm. and all of the research from these medical facilities all over the world, but yet take the respect of the makeup of the body that mm -hmm. you know um, and really marry them together to heal the body. It's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, yeah, with this, it, that's a well put point because you have one side over here that really is pushing medication as yeah. the answer. And as, as most watching this know, it, it's not it. the answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a time and a place for medication, sure. but it's not the answer. It's not that a you're not, right, you're not mm -hmm. ever going to, you'll be on it the rest of your life, which right. we discussed. Then you have a group over here who really is just doing the same with supplements. Right. They're, they're just giving people supplements, really never getting to the cause. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to remove the causes from our life. You know, that's part of our number one. I mean, mm -hmm. that is our number one, removing the source. But it also has to be done correctly, removing these toxins from the cell. Remember, it is their hormone receptor that's the key. Mm -hmm. When we get the toxins away from these receptors, down regulate inflammation, that's really, again, the roadmap that the 5Rs takes you through. This is what we're doing around yeah. the country. This is why we're doing this national program, because it works. You know, mm -hmm. you mentioned the testing. You know, we go to our doctors, test me for toxins. Well, what tests are they doing? Yeah. You know, heavy metals we talked about, you know, doing the right heavy metal test is it's key. Critical. A blood test is critical. not the right test, wow. right? There has to be a chelated agent used. Mm -hmm. It has to be done correctly, mm -hmm. you know, and that is really where the magic lies. That's finding that source, removing it. Now everything starts to work. That's what saved my life. I mean, that's how I got it. That's what changed your life as well. Absolutely. You know, so, Absolutely. you know, I mean, when we look at detoxification, you know, there's probably more gimmicks here than anything. Um, and yet it is really the big answer for the epidemic. It really is. So yes, you have to change your diet. We have to bring in these fats. We have to get rid of the bad fats. Um, but if we don't remove these sources, we're missing the big driving factor that nobody's talking about. So it's, are you all right? You're yeah, gonna it's a get, it's, it chokes me up. It's a game changer. It really is yeah. for everyone watching because Diabetes has affected my life. Yeah, it has. It has affected my personal life and, you know, uh, all of my relatives. It's, it can look genetic, um, but it's the genetic susceptibility and it's the lifestyle living in these toxins daily that are triggering those genes on. And, and people are falling into the trap mm -hmm. of drugs for the rest of their life. And, and it, it, is a, it is a passion of mine. I want to help mm -hmm. rescue. So I am so passionate that you guys are watching this information, that you are learning this information, that you have taken action to even get access to these trainings. I am so proud of you. Keep watching because next you are going to learn about the exercise. You may be moving and you may be very proud of yourself that you exercise three times a week, right? Well, this is the exercise that is unbelievable and proven in studies right. to reduce diabetes. It's unbelievable. You have to learn this and make sure that even if you're moving, you're moving appropriately. So we are so excited, right? You know, and I have to say this, you know, most of the exercise that people watching this are doing, it actually makes diabetes worse. So you're out there doing exercise. Very proud think, of yourself. Yeah, exactly. And it actually is making you worse, you know? Wow. And, and I, I think that, you know, with the, the toxin and, you know, just leaving this conversation, you know, you had said about the family, you know, and, and people thinking it's just genetic. Mm -hmm. The thing about toxicity is that it actually is turning on those genes. Yeah. You know, it's actually turning on the genes. Your genes do not give you diabetes. That's right. The toxins can turn on the gene of susceptibility. Yeah. That's the problem. So again, a proper protocol that actually works, mm -hmm. it, you have to understand how to change that gene expression. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the doctors obviously are trained to do that, you know, but that is key. Mm. You know, so much has happened just in the last five years in this area mm. that we know how to turn these genes on and off. It's you know, amazing. It, yeah, it is. And there's it's hope like, in that. But yet people aren't yeah. really talking about that. Well, so. I think that's brilliant because there's hope. You know, your genes are not your destiny. No. And that's what's exciting. And that's what, if you hear nothing else hear from this, <laughs> hear that. That your genes are not your destiny. And the label that is on you potentially right now or someone that you love of diabetes is not your destiny. There's hope. And you are going to start implementing these changes that you're learning. And you're going to continue to learn more. So tune in yep. and learn all about the right type of exercise that you should be doing.